Okay, I was thinking of giving a little tour of Stockholm in an electric car. Uh, I was here like a year ago in a M6 in the same color. I think Saki Orange, right? And here we have the Royal Palace and the guards. We don't want to take his weapon. We have a circle there you shouldn't cross on the ground. And take this for a little spin. Let's put on seatbelt. We have the a church in front of us. Finnish church actually, actually for Finnish people in Sweden, I believe. And uh, <coughs> castle, as I said. And uh, I will not run over that girl. And here is uh, a national museum. And here we have an old king in front of us. Gustav III, actually. Maybe I'm Gustav IV. No, I'm not. And uh, a royal castle. Another guard. And in front of here we have the opera. Yeah, let's take... Okay, let's have to take that. Let's go. Okay. And... Uh, Grand Hotel is where we let the Bugatti Veyron owner stay when he was here on a visit. Mm. Here we can take these boats out in the archipelago. See the swans down there? And yeah, the i3 is a great city car, completely silent, and it's a decent punch. You can do a little maneuvering without any problems. Or, yeah, it's red. And, um, Here we have, um, uh, I forgot the name of the street. Let's change it right here. And here it's uh, Nibro Viken. You can also take these boats out to the sea, archipelago. Uh, music museum there. And we have Dramaten. It's, uh, you can say if you translated literally is a dramatic theater built in the 18th century and um, here is you could say the beach road kind of ironic because there is no beach here but Today is finally nice weather. It's been so boring weather all two months here. Just grey, grey, grey. Over there we have the, to the right, where the Vasa Museum, where the old, like 400 or 333 year old warship that was dug up. You can see the masts sticking out from that building. Uh, and we have the National Museum, or the Nordic Museum, sorry. 
over there looks like a what's it National Romantic Museum built hundred years ago. Here we have the tram going over to the king's uh, yard, and you could say if you translate it literally, Djurgården. Over there you have a nice little restaurant cafe you can sit and watch the boats or cars or people and let's take a left here problem is <laughs> people don't hear you so you don't want to run over people. They don't uh, hear you coming at all. Here is Narva Vägen after we lost against Russia Narva. Baltic city of Narva. And let's see we have the Ferrari dealership. And Maserati dealership over there. And cruising like 61 kilometers, more than enough if you live in the city. But one thing you really have to have in the city is your own power outlet, which means a garage. So you must have a garage if you're gonna use this in the city because if you're gonna go around looking for parking spots that also have a current then uh, <clears throat> then you, you would run out of battery but it's uh, it's very 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 relaxed to drive but still very fun I mean you could oh that's an old British taxi you have driven okay girls go over and uh, Somebody said, yeah, the current is is um, toned down below 50 km per hour, which probably is true because acceleration is not that large uh, below 50. But above 50, it's really it's really fast. Okay, thank you. Stop. And um, yeah, so. Two-spoke steering wheel. It's like a, also you sit a bit higher than regular cars, uh, so uh, it's not as like an SUV, but it's still uh, it's still higher than for say a E93 series or something like that. So uh, I mean it's a super perfect nimble car. So you just go in here, no problem. It's tight, but I mean the only problem is that. People don't hear you, so don't run over people with a little car. Okay. Let's see. So, uh, yeah, I just want to show you the nimbleness to have it in town. I mean, this is. Uh, uh, yeah, it's a good alternative to mini, mini Cooper S because it doesn't cost you anything driving it. I'm just going to show you the one last part, which is the Army Museum, which is actually straight ahead. This guy is the slowest driver in the world. Jesus Christ. Oh no, he's going to go down there. Here is a nice church. Hedvig Eleonora church. Down there you have the water again. and the Beach Road, Strandvägen. Please, car, can you move? I mean, you kind of feel sad for all the people that have to change gears manually uh, in a petrol car in the city. Because, I mean, a little automatic car with a lot of torque is, is really, really nice to have.
Okay. So to the right here, it's a complete block, uh, which actually have the both the cars and the horses of the king. Which is like the best. Oh shit! I can't have to do a U-turn here. Uh, which is the best location in Stockholm, or one of the best. Uh, anyway, it's like uh, they have a little mini, but it's uh, yeah. Don't upset people going like full speed or like uh, full gas in the city. People don't notice you. It's like yeah, you're hovering around. Uh, okay, I can do a final thing. I can show you actually how's that. Uh, this football guy Slatan have bought. I always said wrong. Slatan, Slatan, Slatan. Please, they're so slow. Everybody are so slow in the city. I can't believe this. <sighs> um, anyway, it's kind of funny. He's doing a kind of new concept. Please. Okay, this is it. I'm overtaking you. Uh, anyway, uh, townhouses are not that common in Stockholm. Um, so, uh, but he bought a full townhouse, or, or like, yeah, a complete house. So he's buying all this, made a garage board, and it's an old shirt he bought, which is kind of funny. Here it is. See the cross. So anyway, Congratulations to him. That's all for now. Bye.